hello everyone in today's video i will continue the uh, structuration perspective of anthony giddens so in the last two videos i basically discussed uh, his uh, structuration perspective and various aspects of the structuration perspective and in today's video i will focus on the specific aspect of the structuration perspective that is structure that is social structure so let's uh, start the discussion uh, structure according to the structuration perspective is different from uh, the structure in the structural functionalism and structuralism and post structuralism there is anthony giddens uh, try to make a distinction uh, from the uh, structural uh, from the structural functionalism and the uh, structuralism and post structuralism that means one thing is clear that the concept of structure is common in the structural functionalism structuralism post structuralism and structuration but its uh, its explanation is different in the structuration so according to anthony giddens uh, structure in the structural functionalism is just used as a as a function there is it functions uh, uh, to uh, determines individuals behavior or individuals action in the society or in structure uh, structural functionalism structure is just seen as a as a skeleton as a foundation uh, as a model of the society or as a as a, as a physical uh, structure of the society or again in the structural uh, structuralism or in the post structuralism the uh, structure is seen as a common uh, a law of the human behavior uh, that is uh, the structuralist or post structuralist try to find out try to uh, get the common law behind the human behavior or common law behind the uh, the social action and the uh, social practices in the society but a structure in structuration is different and uh, the anthony giddens basically used the concept of duality of structure so first we will understand what structure according to anthony giddens is structure is basically according to him is uh, nothing but the uh, the virtual order of the uh, virtual order of the transformative relations so here transformative relations according to him is the uh, relations of the social practices relations of the individuals religions of the uh, relations of the individual actors that is agents what he has mentioned and how uh, these relations are uh, constantly transforms and 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 uh, maintains a order so the virtual order that is the order which uh, do not have any physical presence which do not have any existence rather it depends on it depends on the social practices and social practices according to anthony giddens is the social system so in his idea of the duality of structure anthony giddens also used the concept of social structure and uh, the social action so i will uh, further elaborate this thing another way of understanding of the social structure according to anthony giddens is that considering it there is considering structure social structure as the properties as a properties of social system here properties means the qualities so according to anthony giddens structures do not exist or there is no structure rather the properties of the structure exist the properties of the structure associated with the social systems so as i mentioned that he has used the concept of social system and the social action in his understanding of the duality of structure that we need to elaborate what is social system according to him social system means the the uh, social practices that is collection of social uh, practices or the social practice as a whole here i can give the example like for uh, the like marriage the marriage uh, as a institution uh, is a, a social practice or a, a a particular social system because it is a complete whole it is a complete social practice if a individual performs marriage it is his social action so if uh, the person or individual performs the marriage it is his social action why because his performance his action is a part of the greater social practice so 
social action and social practice. So here a social structure means the structural properties of this social action and social system. So this structural properties are important. According to Anthony Giddens, these uh, structural properties uh, maintains uh, the time space uh, time space order or uh, what to say the time space uh, the continuation or sp uh, time space uh, the uh, the uh, time space order of a particular practice social action and social system if for example a particular social system or social action that occurs across the places across the uh, physical the boundaries of the world and in a particular time period so the variation may exist within a particular period. for example marriage is a system there are variation of course in different societies but marriage as entity marriage as practice marriage as system exists in every society so this is how the time space is uh, balanced or time space is uh, maintaining its order because of the structural properties then the another important thing which we need to mention is that according to anthony giddens the structural properties are the means of the reproduction of the social system as well as the product of the as well as the product of the individual action that means the structural properties which uh, which uh, shapes the social uh, system that is social practices which produces the social uh, practices which determines the social practices to exist and social practices or social system uh, we understand or we feel or we perceive because of the structural properties again the structural properties are also the product of individual action getting my point so the social system is also uh, uh, is also reproducing in the time space the in the time space continuation and this social action is also getting produced and reproduced in the context of the structural properties so structural properties are basically determines the social system there are social practices as well as it is also getting reproduced and produced by the individual actor so it do not have any uh, it do not have any any physical objective structure that nothing uh, nothing is there beyond it no it is rather an entity a virtual order that giddens mentioned and which determines the social systems and uh, again individual produces reproduces if individuals do not perform do not be the part of the social practice or social system so structural properties cannot be reproduced and the structural properties are reproduced and in the pro reproduction again it also get means the produced uh, new structural properties may get produced because of the individuals uh, the innovative action individuals the alteration of the action or change of the course of the action so this is how individuals action can also produce the structural properties again the same structural properties may also uh, means that determines the social practices now we will discuss about the uh, the aspects of the various aspects of the structure mentioned by anthony giddens now we will discuss about anthony giddens the uh, idea of the various aspects of the structure he has mentioned about two aspects of the structure that is uh, rules and the resources he has not mentioned these as the types of the structure other various uh, two aspects of the structure rules and resources now what is rules this is a very common word we may uh, feel that rules is something which is uh, uh, which exists everywhere in every society in every institution no here it has a different uh, the connotations different uh, dimensions of the explanation so he gave the example like for like uh, a person who wakes up every morning at 5 so this is not his uh, rule of the waking up rather the rule of something for example the maybe the rule of health or a rule of his office 
makes him wake up at 5. So habitual activities are not rules, rather habitual activities are the, are the result of the rules in a particular situation, in a particular context. If person reaches in a particular office by 9 and starts work by 9, so this does not mean that persons, this habitualized activities are rules, no. These are the outcome, the result of the rules of office, rules of the bureaucracy. So again, he has mentioned about two types of rule, constitutive, uh, constitutive rule and the regulative rule. That is a particular kind of rule that may, uh, that may describe what it is. For example, Giddens mentioned about the uh, rules of chess. So, if I describe you the rules of chess and if you don't know what chess game is, then it will be a constitutive rule that it will define you, this rules, explanation of rules will define you what chess game is all about. And if you know already what chess is, then this description of the rules will be a regulative rule that is another kind of rule called regulative rule that it will explain you what are the rules regulations of the chain, uh, game chess is all about. So the rule may have a constitutive as well as a regulative. There is one rule, uh, one kind of rule which may describes you, another kind of rules may tell you what are the regulations exist. So both the things exist in the society. For example, marriage, everybody knows the marriage. For example, you from a particular community and he wants to know the marriage of a particular uh, different community. So, for you, uh, the explaining the rules of this particular community will tell you what marriage as a practice exists in that particular society. That is regulative, that is regulations of the marriage in this particular society. It do not uh, tell you what marriage is all about because you already know what marriage is all about. So, these are the two important aspects of the uh, the rules uh, that is the constitutive rule and the regulative rule and rule is very important aspect of the uh, the structure because rules which uh, uh, reinforces rules which reinforces the social system social action social action is determined by the rules and again this social system get reproduced because of the rules because social uh, practices are nothing but the collection of individuals action collection of human action and these human actions happens because of the rules and rules are very abstract which can, we can't see we can't visualize these rules some rules are uh, means attained a formal uh, the recognitions like law in a particular country in the form of constitution in the form of uh, judicial uh, uh, ju judicial uh, the uh, system so these rules are uh, very formal but but there are numbers of informal rules which do not have any written uh, uh, written the structure but people follows it because people understand these are rules and accordingly they act and this action further reproduces the social system or social uh, practices as a whole then second aspect of the structure is the resources resources are again two types he has mentioned the allocative resource and authoritative resource allocative resources means all the uh, all the material the objects all the material resources like land the natural resources uh, every every natural every material things objective things are the the allocative resources so the for example land uh, land is a uh, matter uh, is a allocative resource as a resource that individuals can avail can use but this uh, land become a resource only because of the human action only because of the individual action if individual use it for a purpose it becomes a resource if individual use it for agriculture for uh, forestation for uh, building houses it becomes a resource otherwise not so individuals action makes the social objects or natural and physical objects uh, a meaning a, a meaningful uh, the entity then comes the authoritative the resources authoritative resources are basically 
abstract one. This means that uh, every uh, person who is a subordinate to someone as well as the uh, as well as the superordinate or superior to someone there is a, every individual listens someone's the direction someone instructions also direct someone uh, so the, the, both the things are there it's not that one person is always dominant and always uh, powerful no one person is a subordinate in one situation and again superordinate in another situation so this is how it maintains the balance this this authoritative relationship maintains the balance so these are the two important aspects types of the resources so structure has two aspects the rules and the resources again last important thing which i need to mention in this video is the uh, is the is the importance and significance of the individual actor in the giddens uh, the concept of structure according to him structural properties do not exist in isolation rather it exists in the knowledge of the individual action individual uh, agent or individual uh, the action actor that is if individuals do not uh, carry out any action if individuals do not uh, do any action so the structural properties are meaningless so structural properties are actually the activities of the individual or human beings in the society and in process of the action in process of the performance uh, certain uh, certain activities uh, gets a shape and once the activities gets a shape it becomes a system and once system comes uh, in the in the existence then we try to find out the structural properties what are the common uh, the qualities of this particular system and this is how structural properties or structure get into existence so without the individual actor the structural properties cannot exist so this is how structural per structuration perspective focused on both structure as well as the individual and that is how he criticized the macro sociological perspectives like functionalism marxism structuralism and micro as well as like phenomenology ethno methodology who exclusively focused on either structure or individual so that's it for the present video i'll continue making videos on this particular topic and every topic in my channel has a series so be connected and uh, like the video and put your comment for ever you have viewpoints and please share it subscribe it those who have not subscribed thank you very much